Hey guys, I wanted to demo my favorite wireframing tool real quick. Basically what makes this guy so special compared to the other wireframing tools is this drag and drop thing. I absolutely love it because you can essentially uh, select, group, lock things in place. Uh, like I just grouped this object, I'm gonna put it here. If you don't like something, super easy to build out wireframes and when you're building and needing to prototype very quickly knowing exactly what things are supposed to look like greatly enhances your ability to deliver stuff so that while this thing is cool you can also um, let me open a new one real quick to show you what this guy does so let's create uh, like if we were designing a blog real quick and we wanted lots of pictures in it. We wanted our title to look, you know, be so big. We'll go like this. I want it to be large. Title will take up like that much space. And then we're going to add in some paragraph text here. So let's say I have this. I'm going to save it real quick. You can take the URL and, of course, share it with somebody, your, your wireframe. So it's awesome for working with other people. So I'm using the free version right now, but if I were to jump over into the premium version, which I'm a part of, and we were to edit one of my projects, you can see that I've got a bunch of different pages here going on, and I'm building out essentially entire websites with these uh, wireframes. And one of my favorite features of this whole thing is uh, when you click export, you can either share the link or you can export it to a PNG or PDF, which is super useful for uh, Slack or whatever. So that PNG looks something like that. Pretty straightforward, but here is one of my favorite features where you can change what orientation or what view you're in, whether it be mobile, tablet, or desktop, and you can design a wireframe for what that should look like. So here's an example of that. Here's an example of like a tablet view. And here we'll go back to the dashboard. But that's it, wireframe.cc. Super useful, there's a lot more to it, but it's very